Hankering for Han Sui? Tempted by Tai Shi Se? Yearning for Re Jin? In the vast new character system of Total War Three Kingdoms, you're sure to encounter a warlord that you simply must make part of your army. Or maybe you just want to try and catch them all and build your ultimate team of Three Kingdoms characters like the sadistic, power-hungry dictator you really are. Firstly, there's your bread and butter method. Best them in battle and you have a chance of capturing them. A chance that can be improved through mounts and traits. A victory sweeter than wine. Many high value characters won't come so easy though. Does your target think they're happy with their current leader? Or you can help them see the error of their ways with a few gentle reminders of the inadequacies of their situation using Three Kingdoms undercover network. Perhaps you're a more traditional, less sneaky kind of ruler. Well, they'll have no choice to join you if you confederate their entire parent faction. Be mindful though, acquiring characters through brute force can mean they don't really want to be there and they could dip out at the most inopportune moment. Maybe your target has some good friends that they can't bear the thought of leaving behind. No problem, just capture those guys too and their decision should become a little easier. And then there's the trusty political marriage. In ancient China, marriage is rarely about love and more about splashing your cash to shore up fractured faction relations and getting your mitts on that juicy character who's a perfect fit for your faction. Or maybe they just have that wicked hat equipped. There's more glorious details, but we all leave those for you to figure out yourself. Which character are you most excited to bring into your faction? Tell us in the comments and purchase Three Kingdoms before the 30th of May to get the Yellow Turban Rebellion completely free.